There are now at least 288 cases of the coronavirus here in Maryland. Governor Larry Hogan issues an executive order to close all non-essential businesses in the state today at 5 o'clock. Hello again, I'm Max McGee. The governor taking drastic steps to keep Marylanders safe in the pandemic. Moments ago, Governor Larry Hogan told people to stay at home and to only come out for essential needs to slow the spread of the virus. Of course, WJZ investigator Mike Helgren joining us live once again from the state health department with the latest. Mike. And Max, we want to stress this is not a lockdown as some other states are doing. Businesses, a number of them will still be open, like restaurants. If you want to get uh, carry out from restaurants, you just can't go sit inside. Grocery stores, pharmacies, they'll still be open. Let's hear again from Governor Hogan. Unfortunately, many people are still not taking it seriously. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan says his new executive order to shut down all non-essential businesses is not a lockdown. Uh, let me cl be clear. We are not issuing uh, or ordering a shelter-in-place directive or forcing people to stay home. However, we are telling all Marylanders to follow all of the directives we've already issued and to follow state law against crowds of more than 10 people. And we are telling you, unless you have an essential reason to leave your house, then you should stay in your homes. There are 288 cases in Maryland right now reported by the state health department uh, just at 10 o'clock this morning, including 31 here in Baltimore City, 20 in Anne Arundel County, 35 in Baltimore County, and 26 in Howard County. We'll continue to follow the latest developments. For now, we're live at the State Department of Health. Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Meanwhile, the Senate is set to vote again today on a massive stimulus bill aimed at boosting the U.S. economy. This after they failed to agree on a nearly $2 trillion economic rescue package over the weekend. There are now more than 35,000 cases reported across the country. This is leaders work to reassure the markets and businesses and workers that help is on the way. Let's take a live look right now at that Dow Jones. It's down more than 3%. Natalie Brand reports for WJZ from the White House. The Senate is expected to hold votes in another attempt to bring a nearly $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package to the floor. The motion is not agreed to. Democrats blocked a procedural leader. vote Sunday demanding more guardrails on funding for major corporations and additional resources for hospitals and health care needs. We need the best bill possible. And what it has is, for instance, a giant, giant corporate bailout fund with no accountability. We had a good bipartisan bill developed on a bipartisan basis until the Democratic leader and the Speaker of the House decided to blow it all up. Senate Republicans are trying to fast track the legislation as six members are under self quarantine, including Kentucky's Rand Paul, the first senator to test positive for COVID 19. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says House Democrats are also working on their own bill. President Trump has activated the National Guard and signed disaster declarations for Washington State, California, and New York. But some state and city leaders are calling on the White House to step up efforts to compel companies to make more life-saving medical equipment. Every single day, there are people looking and saying, do we need to compel someone to do this? Let's make the call. Okay, they're already at max production. They're already working around the clock. And again, we are using the stockpile and FEMA to get resources out to people who need it. Vice President Mike Pence will head to FEMA headquarters later for a conference call with state governors. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Students have started moving out of Towson University after the pandemic forces them to finish the semester online. Yesterday, only groups of six were allowed inside buildings. Students had to fill out a form in advance and make an appointment. The move out process will go through April the 4th. Spring graduation for seniors will also be held in the fall. Governor Larry Hogan announced a new telephone service to check in on the state's senior citizens. It's a service we have to opt into. Now, every day a call can be made at a scheduled time. If two calls aren't answered, a worker will call somebody else to check in on the adult. Worst case scenario, a welfare check can be made by police. The phone call will also give senior citizens updates on the pandemic. The coronavirus is a major roadblock for Americans outside of the U.S. trying to get back home. Now, Jessa and Mallory, two Towson University alums, are among 12 Americans trying to get home from Honduras. 
There's a similar situation in Peru where the Boyle family is stuck in a hotel. We really need the support of the federal government. I don't think that this can be done unless it's government to government. The family has booked flights for after the travel ban is lifted, which is supposed to be March 31st, but the Peruvian government could lengthen those restrictions, keeping them there longer. Both groups have reached out to the U.S. government for help and are waiting to see what happens next. Some local businesses are forced to close because of the coronavirus, but they're helping out others. Managers at Hotel Revival say they will let restaurants or chefs who need a place to work operate in their kitchen. Those using the service will be able to offer carryout options. The hotel's general manager says 25 small businesses are already interested in the free service. In an attempt to keep everyone in good spirits during the outbreak, staff at Timonium Elementary hosted a parade, but they did it in a unique way to continue practicing social distancing. Teachers drove down streets in their neighborhoods where their students lived to say hello to them and their families. They say the idea came together in just 24 hours. They decorated the cars and held signs to spread the joy. Oh, it just warms your heart. It's just so wonderful to see everybody out, and it reminds me why I teach. I think it was cool that they just like planned this whole thing just so they could tell us that they miss us. And students say they're doing schoolwork each day to keep up. Stay with WJZ as we follow the latest in the coronavirus pandemic. We have everything you need to know on our website, WJZ.com.